So Dominique and Kendall, today we're reading an article in our health literacy class and together we chose several words that we decided we're going to study for vocabulary. And I know that both of you are working on getting your GEDs, right? Yeah. Yes. And so vocabulary, improving your vocabulary is a huge component of that, of becoming a better student, a better reader. Vocabulary is really important. You guys helped choose, in fact, you chose this word. It comes from the article today. That's a word where you kind of knew what it meant, right? Yeah. But it would it feeling really confident using the word. Not super comfortable giving a definition or using it in writing, right? So let's do an elaboration, like a, a kind of a, a in-depth look at this word. And the word is intensity, intensity right? So say the word. Intensity. Intensity. Now remember how I was talking to you earlier about saying words in beats. Yes. A beat yeah. is like a syllable, right? You right. can clap it or just say it. But let's kind of clap it together. Mm -hmm. Let's do intensity and clap each beat when we say it. All right, ready? Mm -hmm. Intensity. How many beats? Four. Four beats. Intensity. Kendall, do me a favor and scoop the beats in that word, right? Okay. You do it and read it one beat at a time and scoop those beats for us. In. In. Ten. Ten. C. T. Right on. Intensity. Intensity. Excellent. Four beats. There's a base word in this word that a suffix has been added onto at the end. Remember suffixes are a letter or group of letters that you tack on to the end of a word. And the base word I'm going to show you here, because that's going to help us really get at the meaning of this. The base word is intense. Yeah, yeah not in, in is, a, is a word that does exist in there, but it's not really relevant. This is the base word, intense. Intense is an adjective. I remember adjectives are words that describe things, right? Yeah. I'm going to use the word intense in a sentence, a couple of sentences maybe, and see if you can, just based on what you hear in the sentence, if you could give me a definition of the base word of intense. For example, um, a couple of nights ago I watched a sunset You've seen a sunset before, mm -hmm. have you? And but this particular night, the sunset was magnificent. Like, oh, took your breath away. The the reds and golds and oranges were so intense. Right? What are you seeing for that? What what feeling do you get for the the meaning of the word intense in that sentence I just gave? Mm -hmm. I would say like the sun was just like the sunset was just so amazing. Amazing. The colors were intense. Can you think of another word you might put in that sentence if you weren't going to use intense? The colors were amazing. Bold. Bold. Very good. Bold you could say like a powerful kind of had had a lot of energy. The color had, you know, a lot of hue or energy to it. Let's do another sentence. This time I'm going to do it with the full word intensity, which is really this base word, intense, plus it's like an addition sign, like we're doing math, mm -hmm. plus the suffix ending, i t y, mm -hmm. right? I t y. What Kendall? What letter did we have to drop? from the base word when we actually spell the whole word intensity. The E. Right. We got rid of that E. So intense plus the suffix ending iti, I-T-Y, gives us this word, intensity. Um, let me give you another example. This time I'm going to use intensity. Uh, the other night I was watching the news, and there was a, uh, on the local news there was a fire in a restaurant. The restaurant was burning to the ground, and the firefighters show up. But the intensity of the blaze or the fire drove the firefighters back. They were trying to get close to it. The intensity of the fire drove them back. What's another word you could use for? What's the feeling there of the meaning of intensity? What do you think, Kendall? The power. The power. Does that kind of fit with yeah. the sunset example, too? Yeah. So power a boldness, a lot of energy, 
right? In your notebooks, I'd like you guys, we're going to start a new page just for this word, okay? okay? Write the word intensity down in your notebooks. And you can scoop the beats too, just like we did on the board. So to help yourself remember afterwards how to, how to decode and spell that word, mm -hmm. scoop each beat. Intensity. And then let's write this definition. I'm just going to rub. And the base word you can put is intense. Put this whole thing down. Intense plus your suffix ending, I-T-Y. Oh. Old, powerful, Power. you said, right? Mm -hmm. Powerful. Lots of what? What was I saying about energy? Intense. Int if, if something's intense, is it like low energy or? It's high. Uh, High energy. Let's put that down. Let's put down high energy. And also in your notebooks, beside the base word intense, could you put that it's a na uh, that is an adjective? Intense, remember I said an adjective describes things like an intense sunset or intense colors. Yeah. You could have an intense conversation with somebody, right? In, the <laughs> intense describes the thing that you're talking about, an intense moment or whatever. Intensity itself is actually a noun. It means the quality of having, of being intense, okay? So they're totally related. Intensity is a noun. Intense is an adjective that describes things. Oh. So now, in our elaboration here, let's do a couple more things. Let's make a short list on the board of things that could be intense. Like I was telling you, remember we were talking about our dogs earlier? And yeah. I was telling you about I have a border collie? Mm -hmm. Well, border collies are famous for the intensity of their look, for their <laughs> stare. Right? Mm -hmm. So you could have an intense look, okay? Or an intense stare. Okay, you can write these examples down too. Give me some more examples of things that could be intense or that have intensity. Mm, an intense conversation? Yes, exactly. Intense, I won't write that word every time. An intense conversation. Shun. I'll scoop that word. Conversation. Okay. Intense. These are things that can happen with intensity or they are intense. And I'm glad you actually mentioned exercise because that's the context in which they use this word, the word intensity, in the article we're going to read today. In fact, I'll make myself a little bit more room. So you got this list of things down? Yeah. What was, what was an example of an intense movie that you saw? A scary movie. A scary movie. How about you? Have you seen an intense movie? A scary movie. A scary movie. So those horror films are intense. Yeah. Okay. So there are examples of things that could be intense or that have intensity. All right. Let's look at the context we're going to see the word intensity today. And you were right on it, Dominique. It had to do with exercise or physical activity, okay? And there's basically a continuum or a, or a, um, uh, a scale of intensity that starts at low, okay? Low intensity. And on the opposite end, what do you think would be? High intensity. Right on, okay? From low intensity to High in ten city. And so take a wild guess what would be in the middle. Moderate. That's the word exactly. Super word. Moderate <laughs> intensity. Do you know what this reminds me of is that um, did you read the story of Goldilocks and the Three Bears when yeah, you were yes. kids, right? Because it reminds me of that. The Goldilocks is like she tries the porridge and oh, the one huh? is First it's too, too cold, cold, and then it's too, too hot, and then it's just right. just right in the middle, right? That was moderate bowl of porridge, right? So <laughs> moderate intensity. So it's a continuum, right? A scale that goes from low to high. So let's think of an example 
What kind of exercise would be, or physical activity, would be a low-intensity thing? Walking. Walking, right? But now walking can be done at all different intensities, right? Yes. Let's use walking. So I want to use a word, maybe you know this word, to stroll. Yes. Stroll in the park with your honey on your arm, right? <laughs> so it, does that have a lot of intensity or just low intensity? Low. Right on. Okay, let's put that as an example. You can do this diagram in your okay. notebook too. So, so low intensity, I'll put it in another color. Low intensity might be a stroll in the park. Right on. Okay, so you see the, the, the continuation, the continuum from low intensity to high intensity? Mm -hmm. Exactly. And then let me ask you one last thing. How would you know if you or someone else were doing a physical activity that was high intensity? Like what happens to, to people when they exercise or do physical activity with high intensity? Heart Heart start beating faster. Heart starts beating fast. What else? Um, your heart rate goes up. What else? How can you tell if something is being done with high intensity? Two yeah. more characteristics. Heavy breathing. Did you catch that, Dominique? Yeah, heavy breathing. <sighs> right, heavy breathing. And what's one more example? Really working hard. You sweat. Ah ha 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 ha! Yeah, you sweat. Okay, excellent. So, what we just did, guys, is an elaboration of one word, intensity. We looked at the base word, which was intense. We looked at all different examples of things that could be intense. Mm -hmm. I thought of another one actually, which is good to add to the list: emotions. Right? Yeah. You can have in, in any emotion, pick one like anger, um, sad. sad, sadness, joy, yeah, happy. happiness. Those, any it's emotion exciting. can be felt. Oh, excitement is a really good one. Yeah. Exciting. So, you know, you could be excited because you, you know, found a quarter on the pavement, <laughs> right? But high intensity excitement is like, you just. Won the lottery or something, right? Yeah, like finding a twenty dollar a twenty dollar <laughs> bill. That's high intensity, right? So even even emotions can vary on a scale from low intensity to high intensity. Excellent. So then we're going to just do a couple more words from our story, just like this. We'll do the elaborations, and we'll have the examples stored in your notebook, so you can always come back and practice. You know, getting the meaning totally solid and down from these words, because you got your notebooks to refer back to. Okay. okay. Good job.